Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Mandy from Hope Designs. And hang in here with me through this quick color test and we're gonna use these colors on an eight inch wood round. So first color on top of our pillow paint is Egyptian Coin by Color Art. Next color is Bellagio Blue, which is a putting on the glitz color from Color Art. It's a beautiful color. And then we're going to do a fan favorite of mine, my one of my favorites, that is, which is Australian Red Violet from Matisse. I'm going to put a tiny bit of white mixed with the regular pouring medium under a black cell activator. So I had this idea pop in my head when I was trying to think of what blue color combination I wanted to do for the Blue Bloom collaboration that I did with Jody and, and Muna. And I briefly thought about including the, this color blue and that gold on a black pillow. And I didn't have enough time in my video, it would have made the video too long, but I had mixed it up and then I just randomly had this thought that I bet Red Violet would look amazing over that blue. And so I tried it and it was hands down one of the prettiest blooms I've ever made. So I decided after I did this little color test, I need to go ahead and do it on an eight inch cradled wood round and see how it does. And of course it's gonna look different than this because this is a four inch hexagon tile. I um, did go ahead and finish this coaster set, but hang in with me briefly and we're gonna do it on a wood round. Um, I think you'll enjoy the result. It's not perfect, but I think that you will enjoy the colors together as much as I did. And I love the way that tiny bit of white in the pouring medium underneath the cell activator creates those amazing cells. But look at that. I remember just looking at this and being like, wow, 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 wow. This is so pretty. And it was such a simple color combination. So I hope you enjoy my journey. Again, sorry about my messy spinner. I had already been painting. And I wasn't going to put all that away and do it again. But I hope you enjoy and uh, hang with me for the wood round. Um, again, and I'll mention it again later on in the video, but 20% uh, off of anything on the Color Art website using my code Mandy1120, all lowercase. It's in the description box below. Uh, this is using the Bloom recipe, and I do share the ingredients that I use in the description box below, it's ratios, all of that stuff. So feel free to check that out. And join our, our Facebook group, Fluid Art Friends, also in the description box below, love for you guys to join and share your art. It's a great community. Um, it's always nice to have a great art community when everybody's stuck at home all the time, right? So here you go. I hope you love it. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I can't wait to see it under resin. So on to the eight inch round. Here we come. I'm just cleaning the drips off there. I will say these hexagon tiles like to drip. All right, so we know we like the colors based on the, the tile test, and I'll go back and finish that set later, but I wanna try that on a wood round. So this is an eight inch cradle wood round from Loli Veffy. It's been primed and all that jazz. So we're using the same thing, same pillow, same ingredients. The only thing I did do is I mixed up some white that hasn't been sitting for so long. But. And I went back and tried to speed up the color test video a little bit, so hopefully that won't be too boring for you guys. But I wanted to include it because sometimes the way that turns out on a smaller surface and a larger surface can be very different. So, I have taped the back of the board. I tend to use a little too much pillow, so I'm trying to get the hang of what the right amount is. All right, so this is Egyptian coin again. Um, since then, I got these cool little makeup doodads. Kind of perfect for blooms, and then you can wipe, rinse off the paint. So I'm going to put them in my Amazon shop. I'm working on getting the list put together. So, so yeah. Okay, I'm going to pour quite a bit of this in the middle. 
Now I imagine since this is a larger surface, the gold will come through a lot more. All right. There are some bubblies in there. This is the Bellagio Blue. I love this color. And I got a little heavy handed there, but that's okay. I like a lot of color, so I do that on purpose. I know that not everyone does, and that's okay. Australian Red Violet. And let's see. Y'all might be sick of this color because I use it all the time, but I am not sick of it, so it's probably going to continue to make the occasional debut. Oops, look what I did there. Okay. Now we're going to put a tiny bit of white. And this is one I just mixed up, so it's got lots of bubbles. Um, I just used Amsterdam Titanium White. It's kind of hard to get the right amount of tiny white. That's about right. It's a little bit thick, unfortunately. I probably should have thinned it down a tiny bit. I didn't, so. <sighs> okay, and this is Lamp Black from Amsterdam. Three parts Australian Floetrol to one part Amsterdam paint. Just trying to deal with some of these bubbles. All right, I'm not going to deal with all of them, but okay, I am going to use the world's smallest blower for this one. I know I need to work on bonding with my Yeho, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do it later. Oops. All right. Just spreading it out a little. There we go, not too bad. Damn. Not doing too great right there. The greatest work, not the greatest blowout, but let's see.
see. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Probably not. I'm just trying to catch the little pockets and help them to the edge a little bit. This is the one part that didn't blow out very well. I think with that though, I might just tilt a little bit this way or just spin it out and kind of see what happens. This part's really cool looking. This part is not the coolest looking. So let's see. Unfortunately, I need to let it come up to the top a little bit here because if I tilt it, instead of bringing it more here, it's just going to go like that and that's not really what I want it to do. And I'm going to have to spin it. Can you guys kind of see what it's doing here? Ooh, there's some parts that are really cool. Some parts where the blowout needs a little work. So I'm gonna spin it gently. My hope is that where I didn't do the greatest job blowing it, which is on this side, will kind of work out in the spin. But my favorite part is this little pop of red and blue cells right here. I'm hoping my camera doesn't try to autofocus where you can't see them. That's my favorite part so far. I love these eight inch wood rounds. They're kind of a good size for me to practice going bigger on because in the round, it makes it a little bit easier to kind of gauge your blow and all that stuff. I have square canvases that size too, but <clears throat> not quite as easy to deal with as a wood round. So I also have some square like gallery edge boards too. So but I just really have enjoyed practicing on these. So we, Still have a little bit of paint you need to spin off. It's not perfect composition, but I still really like it and I really like the colors. So I'm gonna call it a win, I think. We'll see, we're almost there. Nothing quite like those beautiful color art colors. I don't know if you can see what I can see, but there's these beautiful red and blue cells on this side and then on the very outer edge that gold is peeking through and then right here that blue is giving us some peacock cells with the gold so beautiful so while i don't love the blowout on this side still really like this and because the because the white even though the white is an opaque color i didn't use a lot of tube paint in that mixture so it kind of makes it kind of a semi-opaque because of the way it's mixed into a transparent medium. So it's picking up some of the other colors and adding some great contrast. So I really, really like it. Love the cells in the middle. I think under resin, this will look really cool. The only drawback for me is that it didn't spread out over here very well. But over here, it looks really great. So let me see. I don't wanna overspin. I just wanna make sure we have enough off the surface. I really like it so far. So glad that that color combo just kind of popped into my head. I was like, wow, that could be really beautiful. So if we don't need to spend too much more, I think I would rather not do too much because I don't want to lose this. Is that still showing for you guys or did my camera start to go crazy? 
think we can get away with not spinning anymore. Hopefully you guys agree with that decision, but I don't think it would spin to actually produce anything cool. I think if anything, it would just start to warp. But let me see if I can take you down and give you a close up because there's some really cool parts I'd like you to see. All right, so here's our close up. This is the center and there's a little globby over here. I need to get that. Give me a second. All right, I got it. So the, here's the center. You can see how the white creates these really cool like peacock type cells. When you hear the term peacock cells, it just really means multicolored. So more than one color in the cell. My absolute favorite part is this right here. Look at that. Look at those. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And right here, whoo, beautiful. So here's where we don't have as much cell definition. That's because of the way I blew it out. So I basically blew most of the cell activator this way and not a whole lot over here. But that's okay because I think you can change the focal point when you hang it. So I would probably hang it like this or something where um, the place with the most definition shows or kind of 50-50. I don't know. It works. I probably would love it if someone else made it. So I'm having to learn to be patient with that. But still really beautiful color. Look at all that color shift in there. So it's going to look really amazing when it's resined. So let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to finish them, this one with resin. It'll be available for purchase. And then a, the coaster set will be too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment below. And then, of course, don't forget the color art. 20% off is Mandy1120, all lowercase. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.